Hello, Jeff? Hello? Hello, Jeff? Yes. Yes, hi. My name is, is Harvey Salamanagic. I'm calling you from the American Federation for Charities. I have a charity here called the SPCA. I'd like to tell you a little bit about... Hello? Oh. Hello, yeah. We're, we're looking to raise money for every inch American male's lacking, and we know you have a small penis. I have what? A very small penis. I have what? A small penis, as well as a bad hearing problem. A small piano? Not piano. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell you that you have a very small penis. Not piano. Penis. I have a very small penis? If you say so. I beg pardon? If you say so. Oh, you're saying it. Well, what I want you to do is give me some money and I'll help that thing grow. Well, listen, I have no problem, but I had it for 80 years. I don't know uh, why you want mine to grow now. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had it? 80 years. 80 years? Yes. <laughs> I'm lonely. Not till seven and a half. Do you have a power tool? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm horny. You have to come into the store by four uh, hours. How, how big is it? You have to come into the store. I need some bits. You have to come into the store. Well, I'd like to come in, but I'd like to know how big your power... No, 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 you have to come into the store by well, four hours on deal. What kind of power tool do you have? You have to come into the store. But what, what size by is it? By four hours on deal. What huh? size is it? By four hours on deal. Please tell me I'm horny. Oh, shut up. Hello? Hello, you're Lipschitz. Yes. Well, if you're Lipschitz, then my ass talks. Good. Hi, you have reached the sex line. What's your code? 4241. Okay, hold please and I'll put you on with candy. Thank you. Hi, this is Candy. Who's this? This is John. My friends call me Johnny. Hi there, Johnny. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. What are you wearing, Johnny? I'm wearing my Spider-Man pajamas. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a white crotchless G-string with matching bra, a pair of white four-inch high heels, and I'm rubbing my pussy. I love kitties. I, I have two, a black one and a white one. The white one's deaf like my mother. Oh, Johnny, you're making me really wet. You should dry off. You, you could catch the cold. My black pussy went out in the rain and was shivering for weeks. Excuse me? I, I don't get out much. How old are you? Uh, I'm 37. I'll, I'll, I'll be 37 in December. I, I like Christmas time. Do you like girls, too? The pretty girls. Uh, I was looking at the magazine, and I saw the pretty girls with the big bosoms. That, that's why I called you. Are you touching your cock, Johnny? Yeah. I only have two cats. No, your penis. Oh, shit, penis. My mother says it's a little German soldier. Have you ever put your German soldier in a vagina? Vagina. Uh, my mother calls it the barracks. That's where the little German soldier sleeps. My, my German soldier's starting to get attention now. Oh, you're starting to get hard, Johnny. If you want me to suck you off, I want you to come all over my face. Have you ever licked a pussy before? No, that's disgusting. You wouldn't like to eat my cunt, taste my juices. I'm very spicy. I don't get out much, but, but 
once I went to a Mexican restaurant and I had a spicy burrito, but but it didn't agree with me, and I, and I crapped in my pants. It ran all the way down my leg. It was smelly, but I liked it. You sound really cute. You wouldn't say that if you, if you knew me. Why wouldn't I? We, we, it's secret. I can't tell you. Oh, you can tell me all your secrets, Johnny. You promise you won't tell? I promise. Uh, I'm a ball buster. And what's that? You should know, you fucking slut. You low-life whore. What's the matter, Johnny? My mother told me about girls like you. Are you, you getting you, off? You smelly cunt. Are you getting off? Shit. Are you gonna come? No, Are no, you you're come? getting off. Hello? Yes, Mr. Fox, please. Who? Fox? You have the wrong number. F-U-C-K? <laughs> you? Yes, hello? Hello. Yes, I have a problem I'd like to talk to the doctor about. I have incredible flatulence. I beg your pardon? Yes, you do acupuncture? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, good. Mr. Acupuncturist is speaking. Yeah. Uh, do you want to make an appointment? Yes, you know, I have a problem. I have to, to I have pass of wind. I pass a lot of wind. Yeah. Yes, I think it's probably... <coughs> Due to, to a bad diet or stomach problems? Yes. Can you cure that? Can, can you uh, tell me the symptoms of your disease? Yes, the symptoms are that bef every morning I wake up yeah. with an erection yeah. and I pass a lot of wind. Yes. I have uncontrollable wind. I'm burping and they're farting all over the place. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. And it makes it very difficult for me to work and be with my friends. I see. Yeah, well... Uh, would, when you have time? Do you come tomorrow or you have time come today? I could probably come today because I like to fart on your head, please. I see. But uh, if you come today, uh, would you mind come here after 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock with the wind on your face? Yeah, I could do that. Then how about tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning at what time? Well, uh, do you have time during the long time, about 11 or 12 or between uh, one? Yeah, I, I think I could probably come at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, if, I can, if I can get on the bus, because the wind that I project out of my anus is very smelly and it's very hard to be with the people on the bus. Yes. Um, may I have your name, please? Yes. Can you tell me your name, please? Sir? My name? Yeah. Is... Stinky. How do you spell, please? S-T-I-N-K. S-T-I-N-K. Y. Stinky. Y. N-K. Spell out Stinky. It's, it's, it's Holland from Dutchland. Why Mr. Stink? Is that Mr. Stink? Stink? S-T-Y-N-K. Why? Why? Yes, Stinky. How do you spell? K-Y. K-Y at the end. S-T-I-N-K-Y. S-T-I-N-K-Y. Stinky. That's right. Stinky? Yeah. Bum. How do you spell bum? B-U-M. Yes, yeah, Mr. Stinky. Stinky bum. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, you certainly may. My telephone number would be zero zero eight one. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Stinky. Yeah, then see you tomorrow, eleven o'clock. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Yes, I want to talk to Joe. Joe, man, what? He's not in the building. Well, he better be in the goddamn building. I bought a piece of shit car for him, man. I'm coming down there with my brother-in-law, and we're gonna blow his fucking brains out, man. This car don't fucking work. Really? Really. I'm very, very, very upset with the whole situation. You are? Yes, I am. What do you think? I shut up 15,000 fucking dollars for a piece of chit Chevrolet car now it doesn't work? You better be fucking kidding me, man. I'm not fucking kidding. You giving me fucking shit now, you motherfucker? I'm not in for you, you motherfucker. I'm dead serious here, man. You make a 
in front of my fucking action, you cocksucking bastard? Sir? Yes. Now, you understand? You put me on the phone with the goddamn manager right now. All right, who sold you the car, sir? You give me a manager. I don't want to talk to you. You have bad attitude. Give me a manager. Sir, there's nobody here. What do you mean there's nobody? There's a... Listen to me. I'm getting very, very upset here. Okay. Give me a name and number where you can be reached and I'll have... Don't give me that fucking jerk off now, pal. I come... I want to talk to the manager. I want to talk to somebody with some clout. Somebody who knows what the fuck they're talking about. Not you, you fuck. Well, then I suggest you come down and see somebody, sir. Okay, I'm coming down here. When I come down here, what's your name? My name? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to know my name. I want to know your fucking name, buddy. I don't want to know my name. I want to know your name, because when I come down there, you're the first fuck I'm going to deal with. You don't want to know my name, sir. Well, you're fucking not going to give me your fucking name? No, sir. You fucking pussy. Hello? Hello, Bella? Yeah. Yeah, it's Moish. Please, can you do me a favor and pick me up at the park? I've had an accident. Where? At the park, 66, on the west side. I'm right on the corner there. I, my pens are full. My pants are all wet. I try calling Ben and Sadie, but they can't come. My God, I can't go out, Eddie. Oh, no, it's Moisha. What? My name's Moisha. I don't hear you, Eddie. It's Moisha. Moisha? Yeah. M Moisture. You mean it's all wet? Yeah. Oh, my God. What, you pissing it? Yeah. Bella. Listen, it's Moisha Rosenbot. What? It's Moisha Rosenbottom. I'm not Eddie. I'm a friend of Sandy and Sadie. I don't know. Andy is the driver. You know, Phil. What? Phil. You are nuts. I'm crazy nuts with piss in my pants. What the hell are you doing up there? I was at the movies. What the hell, you, you turn on the TV and you have movies. Yeah, but I wanted to see the one, you know the one. Debbie does Dallas. I don't care about that, don't be so hungry. I'm nuts, but I want to see the boobs. Never mind the movies, what are you, a kid? Well, I wish. What? Okay, li I like you, Bella. I like you too, otherwise I wouldn't bother talking to you. Thank you, have a nice day. You too. I'll go and dry my pissed out pants somewhere else. Bye. Yes, I'd like to talk to somebody about uh, divorce information, please. Sure, I am the consultant. May I help you? Yes, uh, my wife of six months is having an affair, and I'd, I'd like some information on how I'm going to get divorced in the slot. Do you have any minor children? Yes, I have small children, about four foot two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, is she agreeable to the divorce? Well, she doesn't know yet. I just found out this morning. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, there are only two grounds for getting a divorce in California, and they are irreconcilable differences, regardless of what those differences are, as long as you're not going to reconcile them. Right. And the other one is incurable insanity. Incurable insanity? Yes. Well, well what, do you, what do you call fucking the bellboy at my expense at a that top hotel? That has to be certified by the state of California. Well, what, what do you call having sex, my dear good woman, with a strange man at my expense? Irreconcilable differences. Differences that the two of you are not going to reconcile. Adultery, fornication, and all that good stuff is out in California court. Okay, well, so what goes on from here? How do I get that slut off my back without losing my goddamn shirt? What's your name, by the way? My name is... I'm sorry? Get to who? Pat is the first name. Okay, Pat. And I am the consultant. You are the consultant. Jolly good. Right, so what do we do about this fucking whore? First of all, we try to find a better language. Secondly, uh, we would set up an appointment with you to prepare the papers. Right. Once the papers are prepared, then you would file them with the respective court. Right. And once they are filed, anyone over the age of 18 other than you would serve the papers on her. There is nothing for her to sign. Right, and then she will not be entitled to any of my monies. I don't know about that. How long have you been married? Six months. Oh, then I doubt it seriously. You doubt it seriously? Yeah. She's very young, also. No, I didn't sign any prenuptials with her because I didn't think that the 
fucking bag would be sleeping around immediately as soon as my back was turned, paying for her to be in a very expensive, lavish hotel on Miami bloody beach. I can say to you there, Pat. I just happen to be from Miami. You're from Miami, are you? Yes, I am. Well, really. Actually born in the West Indies, but it's in Miami. Really, really, really. Well, isn't that, isn't that a fucking coinkydink? Yeah, coincidence. She's down there now counting bloody ceiling tile. I'm talking to a divorce attorney who lived in bloody Miami. Okay, but now you say that you do have two minor children. Yes. Born prior to the marriage. Yes, well, yes, of course. She's not the mother of the children. She's a oh, slut. So there are no children of the marriage? Not of this particular marriage. No, I've been married so 12 no times. Child, no child custody, no child support is, is uh, even an issue. No. I'm just concerned about the house, the cars, the boats, and the rest of all my toys. Yeah. You know, that's but how I get laid in the first place. What we should do is to draw up a marital settlement agreement and see if she'll sign it. If she doesn't sign it, then you would go to court because after all, you've under married six cents. Right. No, I don't want to get this in the papers or anything like that, you know? No, we don't do that. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd rather not make a court appearance if I can avoid it. And you have been in California longer. You, can you believe that I just spent $10,000 on fake tits for this bitch and she's down there having some Guido fondling them? I am so irate that I can't tell you. Yeah, I hear. I mean, there's some nice boobs, but, you know, come on, give me a break, will ya? Okay, now, so there are no issues that have to be taken care of right now as to separation of property and that type of thing? Right. So you don't need a restraining order? I don't know. No, well, I'd like a restraining order from her fucking the rest of the world in this period of time. I do have any idea how, how, how embarrassing it is when, when you are a celebrity, you have a, a bimbo for a wife who goes and checks into a hotel under my fucking name, fucks her way, God knows who she's yeah, done. I mean, it's absolutely... I'm sorry, Pat. I'm getting very upset about yeah, the whole I thing. I can't. I'm. I'm. I. I. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm sorry. So what I was saying is that you could file the papers on her and possibly see if she could even sign an agreement that the, there is no community property. Right. If she will do that, then there would be no need for you to go to court at all. Well, I do hope I don't have to go to court. Yeah, there yeah. would be no need. Okay. If she doesn't, more than likely, we will have to go to court. Now, can I send somebody over to that hotel room to, like, sort of break her legs or something like that? I doubt it, then. She'll get the restraining order. She'll get a restraining order. Well, even if I... Yes, yes, I suppose she would. But slut! She's such a slut! God, I can't believe I'm in this predicament. Where are you located? I'm actually, right now, I'm in California. Okay. But I have homes all over the country. Mm -hmm. I just can't believe the whole oh, fucking bitch can go and fuck somebody else when I'm paid for her tits. I've done everything for this. I'm sorry, baby. People do that. People yes. Do that. Um, what I was saying is either I could send you a questionnaire sheet you could complete it. Send me a questionnaire. That, that, that's it. That's where we're at, is or it? Or I could set up an appointment. <sighs> I just don't know what to do. Can we suit your vagina closed, maybe? You may actually want to go get an attorney. Yes, I think I don't need a bloody attorney. I need a hitman. Okay. Or a good doctor with a sharp bloody needle, I tell you that. Sew that little no pocket up. That no had more traffic than the Lincoln fucking tunnel in there. No much, no comment. Right, well then, thank you very much, Pat, you fucking slut yourself. Piss off and have a good fucking day. Hello? Hello, my name is John Thomas, and I'm calling you from the American Federation of Deaf Individuals. How are you today? I don't think you understand. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not looking for any donations today. AFFDI asked me to do a survey, and I'd like to ask you three questions about your awareness to the deaf public. Is that okay with you? Well, I don't have time. I don't have That's good. One, is anyone deaf amongst your family and friends? No. Two, have you ever worked with a deaf individual? Well, uh, once I, I worked with a... Three! Have you ever tried to communicate with a deaf person? As I was saying, many years ago, I worked That's with... good. But then you would realize that it's impossible for me to hear you, for I am deaf. 
audio challenged, hard of hearing, deaf as a post, a brick wall, a fucking tree, I'm deaf. How can you hear me? I can't hear you, you stupid asshole. Yeah, but you're responding to me. Am I pissing you off? Yes. That's good. Then suck my dick. Dalma? Close. Um, hello? Yes, Goldfarb? Yeah. Yeah, this is Harvey Jacklesmith calling you from Pleasure Dome in New York City. How are you today? Who's calling? This is Harvey Jacklesmith. Who? Harvey Jackoff Smith. Jacob, I don't know. Yes, I, well, I have a delivery to be sent to you um, at... Yeah? Yeah, I got a delivery coming your way. You gonna be there tomorrow, Sweet Tits? Hello? Yes, hello, Goldfob. Yeah, I gonna be tomorrow. On what time? Between uh, 5.30 in the morning and 8.30 in the morning. 5, 10, 5 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a red I'm eye. I'm sitting in 5 o'clock. It's a red eye. So you come in 11? Yeah, no, it's from... No, uh, tomorrow I don't gonna be home. You're I'm not? Home today. So, I call, okay, so when should it come? You can come now in, uh, to 3 o'clock. Okay, and this is Goldfarb? Yeah. Okay. What delivery? I got, uh, some, uh, stuff coming to you from the Pleasure Dome in New York City. You got a double dong, some lingerie, a pocket pussy, some vibrating lotions, and butt plugs, and chains, whips, anal torches. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am? Who send it? I, I do not know that. I do not know. I guess you just... Uh, okay, you come over. I'm going to see. You're going to come over and you're going to have a shit? Come over at 3 o'clock. Come over at 3 o'clock and what are you going to do for me there? You're going to give me some head? What are going to give you? Yeah. What? For the delivery. You know, a little something on the side. A little, you know. It's not with the, with the parcel post. I'm sorry? It's with the parcel post. The parcel post? What are you, a private delivery? I'm a private delivery, exactly. Yeah, it's the Pleasure Dome. I come out there and get a little pleasure. We, we, we uh, strap on the Jeff, strike a double dung. Me and you, you know, the butt plug, the whole thing. The lotions, the lingerie, the chains. I don't know how to wear lingerie. You don't wear lingerie. Uh, even better, we get to it quicker. Okay, you come over, I'm gonna see what this is. Okay, you're gonna come over and you're gonna give me some head. You can come before three. I can come before three. All right. Now we're talking, golf, Bob. I like you, you come already. You in one. How big are your tits? Okay. Good. How big are they? Circus. Are you looking for dancers? Honey, we're always looking for dancers. Good. Tell me about yourself. Good. My name is Tricky Tracy, and I'm an experienced entertainer and dancer. My measurements are 36, 34, 36. What does your face look like? Well, it, it's very nice. I mean, do you, do you know how to, have you ever worked in a place like this before? You know what kind of place this is? Well, I am experienced. Um, yeah, tell me about your experience. Yeah. Well, I, I could shoot a banana out of my, out of its peel with my pussy, and you I could... What? I, yes, and I could lip sync to Madonna's Like a Virgin with my labia lips. Hey, hold on for a minute. Hey, Shirley. I got some board that can shoot a banana out of a pussy. What else do you do? And, and I could I could smoke a cigar out of my ass. <laughs> I got to see that. When can you come down? Uh, as soon as possible. Would you like a private show? Oh, yeah? I would love a private show. Uh, I would love one. All right, I'll be down in 20 minutes. What? Who is this? I'll be right down. I'll show you my goods. Fuck you, you asshole. Uh, yeah, I wonder if you could help me. I have a, a disease called Tourette syndrome. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. It's, uh, I have an uncontrollable, uh, the way I speak, sometimes my thoughts come out as words, mm -hmm. whereas at normal people, they will hold that back. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Um, you, you, are, you are looking for the acupuncturist for treatment, right? Yes, because I have had acupuncture before, and it, it has helped me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's you know it's very unfortunate. Yeah. That I you know because uh, it's hard for me to you know get through the day without you know mm -hmm. s you know saying. Uh, you know, it's it's quite embarrassing. Yeah. Um, but I, acupuncture has worked for me before. Mm 
Yeah. And uh, I I wonder if I can make an appointment with you. And uh, maybe take you out for a date. You want to make the appointment, right? Yes, if if you if you may. Uh, what what then? What time is better for you? Seven days a week. Well, uh, like a Wednesday maybe. Next Wednesday. So yeah, Wednesday would be good. Uh, let me check the schedule, okay? Okay. Uh, you want morning or afternoon? Um, hmm, morning or afternoon? Time! I'll take the morning. Morning? Morning would be fine. What, what time? Uh, how about... Big breasts! 11? Uh, 11 would be good. Where, where are you located? 141. Smelly butts! Dr. Quack! Okay, thank you very much. Uh, hello? Yes? Please give me your last name. My name is Lip Monger. How spelling? L I P. L I P. M! <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, M O N G E R. M. Lip Monger. M G E R. Yes, my first name is Sturgis. How spelling your first name? S T E R. G-U-S. Sturgis. Big smelly Can Chinese you people! For me? You sound very pretty on the phone. Oh, okay. Oh. Now I put down next Wednesday, June 30. Yes. 11. I will be there. Okay? All right, suck my dick. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, my name is Debbie Ellis. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking to fill a permanent position. Certainly. Now, what is what kind of position are you looking for? I'm looking to fill doggy style is the position. What is that? Doggy style. I beg your pardon? Doggy style. Which means? Which means, you know, in the rear. Yes, hi. I'd like to get a piano moved. Yes, sir. Can I give you an estimate? Uh, sure. I hope so. Okay, shoot. Shoot, okay, well, bang! <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I have a question for you. Okay. I have something that I'd like to have bronzed. And, okay. And it's, uh, it's kind of personal. I, I had a sex change operation, and I'd like to have my, my um, oh, oh, my penis that is, it's in formaldehyde, but I'd like to have it bronzed. I know it's so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, you would like to have, you would like to have that bronzed? Yes, I would. Uh, well, when, if we bronze it for you, you won't be able to use it anymore. <laughs> well, it doesn't do me much good now. I'm a woman. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to have it bronzed. Um, so I could display it, you know, I mean, I, I spent 34 years as a man, and it was part of my body, and, and now I just, you know, I'd like to, I don't want to throw it away. Uh, could you just hold on one second, please? Certainly. Hello? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe I can, uh, get a, a, a price for you on that. Maybe okay, please. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, how long is it? Well, um, it's about two and a half inches. Okay. All right. Uh, it's, it's may I have me. your your uh, name and phone number, and maybe I can call you back with the price? Yes. Well, I, I I recently had the operation, so I'm still under my male name, which is Robert Rococo. Uh, spell that, please. R O. C O C O. Okay. Uh, well, excuse me for um, I'm I'm a little shocked, you know. I can imagine. Oh, how do you think I feel looking at the damn thing? Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, is there any type of finish, antique or um? Yeah, I, th I, I think an antique finish would be fine. Yeah, because an antique would show all the. 
the, the details. Yes, I want the detail. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, I have I have another question. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could make it bigger? It's very small because it was taken off in surgery, and it's it's not as how I would like to remember it. If you know what I'm saying, is there any way we could sort of add an inch or two, or three maybe? Uh, maybe they could uh, do something to stuff it. I I really don't know. I'm gonna have to. Okay, well, could, could you give me a price the then? Back. Okay, yeah. the only problem with bronzing this is that, you know, that's more like um, human uh, tissue and, and flesh, you know. So yeah. it has, you see, this, this, this thing is going to be dipped right. into like a very hot solution. And you think it'll ruin it? It might become ruined, yes. Oh, so no, you're really I don't. taking a, a chance Well, do you think we could, we could put it in plaster of Paris? I mean, what do I do here? I've got plaster? this penis, and I want it to be saved. I don't want to lose it. A pla plaster. Okay, just one second. Freeze dry, maybe? I don't know. Okay, um, just one second. Okay. This is Mike speaking. Hello, Mike? Yes. Yeah, hi, this is Robert. Yes, uh, I understand that the, uh, you're making a very unusual request. I understand. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's not a question that we can't do, but it has to go through a certain amount of process before, you know, before it's bronzed. Right. And, um, like uh, I'm saying, I'm really not sure we can do, we can do something like that. Right. You know, and if, you know, if, if it is possible, it would be very expensive. Let me ask you a question. How do they do, like, moose heads and fish and things like that? I mean, I know they're not bronze, they're, they're stuffed. Yeah, that's a taxidermist would Ta do that, yeah. See, I, I think that it would be t kind of tasteless, though. You know, I think a bronze penis is, is a lot nicer mm -hmm. than, than just to go with it stuffed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, I mean, um, what, 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 what would happen here is you'd have to put it in a solution that could destroy it, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's... It, it, it's, uh, it depends on w what kind of substance it has now. Um, right. Well, right now it's in formaldehyde, just sitting in, in, a, in a jar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm really not sure, because you know, once, once they remove it from the formaldehyde, you know, I don't know if it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to retain its shape. You, yeah. You know, once it dips, you know, once it gets dipped and all that. Yeah. Um, Maybe if we, like, put it on a, on a, on a stick or something and, mm. and put it in. Yeah. I don't know if, um... You know, it's, it's, and this, this is really, uh, it's, it's really awkward, you know, because I've never worked with anything like this before, and, and um, I, I wouldn't know who to pass it through who would know anything about how to do, how to do this. Right. But, uh, you know, if it's possible, if you could bring it in, and maybe we can look at it. <laughs> oh, God. That, that's how, it's so unnerving to, to, to be discussing this, and, and to bring it in so you can have a look at it. It it's just makes me want to shh. Oh. You know, I will, where are you located? I'll bring it on down. Okay, we're located on two. <laughs> it's going to be a real bear taking this thing in a cab. Okay, me and my pecker will be there. Okay, then. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this? My name's David. Yes? Uh, I'd like to lose some weight. Oh, okay. Mitchell? I'm sorry. Uh, David, what's your last name? Butt Stick. Pardon? Butt Stick. David Butt Stick. Did you want to come in today? Okay. Uh, how much weight do you have to lose? Oh, I must be weighing in around 450 right now. You're weighing in at 450. Yeah, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm having a very hard time at this weight. I, it's it's very fatiguing and. I imagine. And difficult for me to move around. Yeah. Okay, Mitchell. Now I know it's you, Mitchell. Come on. I'm sorry. Isn't your name Mitchell? No, my name's David. David. Are you making fun of me? No. Are you making fun of me? No. When did you want to come? I can't believe you're making fun of me. I reach out for help. You know, just because I'm fat. No, I, I never make fun of anyone. Believe you, me. Why are you calling me that ma name, then, ma'am? Because you sounded like someone that was Mitchell. That's why. I'm very upset about this. I'm reaching out for help. Can you hold on a minute? Surely. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, what time did you want to come in? Oh, what time would be a good time? 
let's see. It's now one o'clock, one thirty. Well, probably after lunch. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, dear Sunday Mahapia. Yes, you may. My name is Dr. Craps. Uh -huh. I was in the restaurant over the weekend, and I have a complaint I'd like to have filed. Okay. Could you just hold on? Let me just go outside. I'm in the kitchen. Yes, Let very me good. Just go out. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. I ate a chicken tikka uh -huh. at your restaurant Saturday evening. Uh -huh. And I, I was cr violently ill. I had chronic diarrhea and chronic vomiting. Hmm. Yes. I left your establishment. Mm -hmm. I got in my car. Mm -hmm. And as I, as I pulled away, mm -hmm. an explosion occurred. I, I felt the urge to pass wind, but instead it was a geyser. I mean, brown, sticky, smelly, gooey stuff all over the place. I have a white Lexus. And I was wearing cream Armani pants, and both are ruined. But this was outside the establishment? Yes, m minutes after I left. I, I'm no stranger to spicy food, my friend. I've had a fair share of, of tikas and masalas and gungadiras and everything. And, right. and, 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 and I know what spicy food can do to a bowel movement. Right. But, but surely it shouldn't be immediate. Right, right. But did he ask for spicy or? I didn't, I didn't indicate either way. I just ordered the dinner and my meal came. It was very tasty going in, but sure as hell burned going out. Hmm. And I would like, I would like some sort of retribution if, if possible. Okay, when you come in, you know, what we'll do is we'll, <clears throat> you come in next time for dinner. We will take care of your dinner. It's not a free meal I'm after here, sir. I, I'm, I'm more inclined to, to, to get my, my car repaired, my pants repaired, and, and have you wipe my ass. Okay, and then in that case, what you could do is you could do me a favor and call uh, around 6.37 o'clock so, so that the owner would be in. And the owner will be the person that will apply the creams to my anus. Right. Right. Because it burns. And I'm a man of medicine. I know I know a burnt uh, piece of skin when I see it. My lips around my anus are toast. Right. Blistered. The hair is singed. My rectum is completely dilated. And you know what that is, don't you? Right, right. That, well, that's a fair sign of the big shits. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish I could... Uh do more than that for you at this time, but... Uh, well, maybe you could place an ice cube upon it. Uh, what you could do is, uh, if you could call back around 6.30, 7 o'clock, and the owner would... Uh, he will apply the Vaseline to the burning hole. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, he, because he's in charge. What's your name? Johnny. Johnny! Uh -huh. Do you ever touch your German soldier, Johnny? I'm sorry? Yes. Well, I'll call back at 6.30, and I'll have, I'll have the owner wipe my ass then. Okay. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Uh -huh. Fuck off. Bye. Bye. Yes, I'm looking for some black art. Do you have the black art there? Yes, we do. You do? Yes. What kind of black art do you have? What kind of black art are you looking for? I'm looking for anything black. Okay, well, we carry African-American, Caribbean, and African. Right, and it's all black. Yes. Yes. Like what, what do you have? What kind of pieces? We have original works. We have reproductions. Yeah. Do you have paintings, sculptures? Do you paintings, have... Paintings, sculptures, everything. Yeah, you have everything and it's all black? Yes. Okay, great. I want to get some black sculptures and four large black paintings, just black. Yes. Okay. Can I, how much will this cost me? You have to come over and see what we have. Where are you calling from? I'm calling you from Manhattan, but I just, you listen to me. I just want to get black paintings. That's all we carry. That's what we specialize in. Okay, so just pick me up four black ones. If they're all black, what difference does it make? You want reproductions or you want original painting? How much money do you want to spend? I want to know what it costs for a black painting. I want a black painting to go into my office, which has the gray couch, and I want black paintings on the wall. Okay, but what I'm saying is that, okay, so you need reproductions then. Yeah, that's fine, but this must be black. Well, that's all we carry. Okay, good, and you have the sculptures in black. 
Yes, we do. Do you have like a bust of a woman's head in black? Yes, we do. Okay, good. So then, then how much does that cost? Okay, it's a sculpture. It depends on, you see, we have things various prices. Yeah. So you'd have to give me a budget and I could fit something within that budget. Let's say $2,500. $2,500? Yeah. Okay, for $2,500, we could probably get you, if you're talking about reproductions, maybe about 10 pieces nicely framed, a couple of wood sculptures. Wood sculpture? Yes. What color is that? Ebony. Ebony, so it looks black. It looks black, but it's black. It's, it's the figures, it's very, it's African. It's uh, yeah, I know, I understand it. Yeah. So, so now, I have shown a sculpture from Naji from um, Zimbabwe also. Now, would you happen to have like a black sculpture of Mozart? No, I don't. Uh uh No, and what, on the black pictures? Yes. Now it's what? It's just plain black. I want to look at darkness, blackness. You mean black, the color black? Yes, the color black. What do you think I'm talking about here? Black art. It says on the on the on the magazine. <sighs> When it says, no, 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 when it says black, it means black as in African-American or African, not black as in... Uh, what are you trying to say to me? You don't have the black art there. What we specialize in is works with, of black people. Of black people? Yes. I don't know of black people. I want black artwork. You might say to me here, say, New York's Pioneer Black Art Gallery. I look for black pieces for my office. I want it black. But when you say black, what do you mean? You, you want a piece of canvas painted black? Yes, black. exactly, black. Oh, so we can get some, some artists to paint some black canvases for you. Okay, well, I want them delivered to my office. Deliver where? To my office in Manhattan. I want the four black paintings, a black Mozart sculpture. I love Mozart. He's fucking brilliant. And I want it now. I want the black paintings, like it says in the goddamn black fucking yellow fucking pages. If you're famous. <coughs> yes, hello, Miss. <coughs> I'd like to book a first class ticket to Miami Beach, please. From where? From Los Angeles. What date are you traveling? As soon as possible. My wife is having an affair. The next flight out of Los Angeles is going to leave at. Hmm. I'm hanging on my seat in anticipation. 6.40 in the morning. Uh, is there anything looking later than 6.30 in the goddamn morning? Oh, dear. Um, 10.20 a.m. out of L.A. 10.20, that's a much more godly hour, isn't it? I mean, can you believe that my wife is uh, having an affair with some poor attendant at a very expensive hotel in Miami Beach at my expense? No, I can't believe that. Well, I wish I couldn't, but I do. And i got to tell you, I am very, very upset about the whole thing. My heart is broken. The slut! The fucking whore! And how much does this ticket cost? The one-way first class parade is going to be 686. 686? Well, that's just a drop in the bucket, is it, compared to what I'm going to lose here? Fine, fine, put me on. What's your last name? Letterman Fortinson. Spell it? Letterman Fortin Jardinson. You have to spell it because I don't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. L e t t e r m a n f l r t h s o n s o n. That's only one s o n. I repeated myself. So it's Letterman Fortin Simpson. Right, that bitch. Can't believe that she would do this. I mean, what does she think when she's receiving it? That's what I want to bloody know. How did you find out? Well, I called the hotel, and somebody else answered the phone other than my wife. My wife refused to get on the bloody phone. And I, I know. It doesn't, I mean, I don't just think the brains of a Lloyd bloody George to figure it out, you know? Blow out of his fucking name is, I don't bloody know. So this is at, what, 10.40 in the morning? Yes? If I don't leave at 10.20. 10.20, good. Well, it gives me time to get up by the shower, shit. Good. It's like three <laughs> Right. Going to arrive in St. Louis at 3:47. St. Louis. Uh huh. You have to go through St. Louis. I've never been to St. Louis. Where the fuck is it? It's in Missouri. In Missouri, and I'm sure a fine caliber of person resides in Missouri. Yeah. I mean, I just want to break her little legs. I can see them now, spread, sitting there on the bed, ready to go. Here he comes. It's not me. Right, right, right. 
I'm paying for the bloody room and the champagne and the grapes and all the other crap that she's probably feeding this this 19-year-old. And I, you know, I know she's taking it up the bum. I know she is. Because she'd never let me do it. Never, ever, ever. The back passage, the poop shoot, the chocolate speedway. I mean, stop me if I'm getting a little out of hand. Let me give you your Rick and locators, and you can go to the airport and purchase your ticket any time between now and your flight time. Right. Rick and locator would be Zulu Alpha. What? Wait, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry? Z like Zulu. Zulu a Alpha? What, are, what, what language are you speaking about now? Mike. Mike? Oh, you lost your mind, woman? The, ni the number nine. Excuse me, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, but I can't understand a fucking word you're saying to me. Alpha Zulu? What is this? What, 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 what are you These are letters. These are letters. Make up your confirmation number. Let make up my confirmation number. How stupid of me. I just thought you broke into some sort of Morse code over the phone for a second. How silly I should have known. Yes. Alpha Zulu, was it? Zulu Alpha. Zulu Alpha. Yes. Okay. Mike. Mike. The number nine. The number nine. Oh, like Oscar. Oh, like Oscar. S like Sam. S like slut. That's whatever happened to me giving you a credit card number and you purchasing the ticket over the phone? No, you can do that. Um, I. I mean, my name is Sir Peter Latterman Fulton Simpson. <laughs> I am a knight, my dear good woman. Her Majesty the Queen knighted me back in '87. What queen? Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Yes. What queen? Have some respect. The Queen of England, woman! Oh, well, you're an American. We don't have queens here. Well, you do have queens. I've seen a couple of them. Bloody puffs. <laughs> okay, well, you need to, um... Right, so I'll just go to the dick desk... The dick. I'm sorry, I've got penises on the mind, haven't I? I'll, I'll just go to the desk and I say, Alpha Zulu, I have a banana and I've got my ticket. Mm-hmm. Right, well, piss off and have a good fucking day. Hello! Yes. Yes, I said piss off and have a good fucking day. You do the same. Thank you, you slut. <laughs>